Hey y'all, I'm Alex with Soil Mates of Georgia. I'm in my garden today and I'm checking the acidity levels of all the plants I have in my containers back here in my backyard. And I'll explain how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it. So stick around and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. So the first question is, why do I need to check my soil's acidity? The answer is pretty simple. It's uh, straightforward. If the soil's pH is off, if it's either too high or too low, too acidic or too alkaline, it might not, or the plants won't uh, have the same nutrient uptake that you want. So you could have fertilizer in there all day and be on a perfect schedule where you don't miss a day. You're watering right, everything's going right. But if the acidity's off, the plants can't absorb the nutrients and then everything you're doing is wasted. So, gotta have part of your regular regimen. I check every couple of months. I should probably check more often than that, but every couple of months I'll check. I did add acidifier to all of my tomatoes and peppers uh, a couple of months ago. I also did it in the blueberries um, at the beginning of the season or late winter and then uh, mid spring. And the blueberries are doing great, but the tomatoes, I think I would put a little bit too little in there and so let me show you how i'm doing it which is the second question i'll flip the camera around so the how part of doing this is pretty easy i have this little tool it's 10 or 11 bucks i think from amazon i'll put a link below and all you do is stick it in the soil and i'll zoom in here and see if i can get a if i zoom the right way here uh see this is coming up around seven uh, maybe even a hair over seven uh, I'd like it to be closer to six. Depends on which website you go to. Some will say that they want it to be, that you should have tomatoes and peppers in the six to seven range. Some say um, in the five and a half to six and a half range. And so what all I do is run through, and this is a different container now, and see that's also up over, wow, that's even looked a touch better, than, touch harder than the other one. I definitely want to add some to this and what I might have done last time that was incorrect the label says put in and I'll show you the the package I have yeah that's a little bit higher this is all these last these three ratings are all in the same container so I'll try another one um, but the label says add a tablespoon for every four inch di pot diameter and I probably did a little bit less than I should have um, that's close enough that's a, maybe just under seven but I'd like to move it down because it does seem, based on the other couple of pots I've done, does seem that it's it's pushing to the to the high side. Uh, one thing also worth noting here, if you're like me, I have these little screens over um, chicken wire over my plants on most of my planters. If the metal rods touch that, it'll mess up the reading. So you got to make sure you're not touching it, because otherwise you'll be way off. I'll try to get down in here, scrolling in. Yeah, that one's also pretty high. That's that's closer to to yeah seven also. So I need to go ahead and jump on it. There's no reason to run through every one. It's going to show the same thing on almost all of them, and um, that's not going to be a lot of fun to watch. So let me go ahead and get to it and um, show you what I'm doing on it. So I'm at my first container here. This is up on my hill where I have my spaghetti squash, uh, cucumbers, and watermelon are on the sides but starting in the spaghetti squash. And so this is the, uh, the brand I use. This is the first time I've, I've used uh, soil acidifier. I had this last year. It lasts me all the way through this year. It doesn't take that much on the few containers I've had. I am getting low on it, so I'll have to get another one. I might try a different brand just to try something new, but this is what was available. Uh, and I got it at either Home Depot or Lowe's. Anyway, uh, it's, it's available about anywhere you can look, uh, online or at retail stores. So all I do, Let's get a this container is it says to put in a um, tablespoon for every um, a tablespoon for every four inches of diameter and of pot diameter and this is at least I think it's 12 inches across or depth and another uh, 20 or something it's whatever it is it's a lot bigger than four so this pot, at least this pot, is not too, um, the soil's not too bad in it. So what I'm doing is uh, I take the, um, take the um, stuff and I just sprinkle it in. Take the acidifier and just 
sprinkle it in. It doesn't take a whole lot to, to get it done. So I'm gonna do, I'll do three scoops in this one. Uh, if it was higher, if it was like one of those tomato pl uh, plants down there that was that was pushing seven, I might go a little bit more, but this one was already at 6.8. and uh, it, It's kind of in an okay range, but I'm gonna try to get ahead of the game since everything seems to be um, getting more alkaline as the, the weeks go by. And that's what I do. I, I did it and then I'll uh, kind of spread it around here with my hands. If I can get this. Yeah. I just work it around some and it, it you don't have to do like crazy messing up the roots or anything uh, but if you just m move it around you can get enough of the soil mix in then I'm gonna run some water over it I'm a little behind on my my water and today it's afternoon now and I usually water in the mornings but I'll water this in just to make sure it goes in there pretty good and that's it so uh, thanks for watching guys. Um, let me know if you have any tips or um, suggestions or questions about this process. Um, one tip I can give you is after you rub around the acidifier in your soil, don't use the same hand to rub your eyes. So I've got sweat dripping in my eyes now and um, I have done it before and it, it stings pretty good uh, or bad, depends which way you look at it. Um, so don't do that. Uh, other tips, let me know if you have any uh, that you can offer to me and let me know if you have any questions that I can provide answers for you. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. We can definitely use your support and um, we'll be back with another video next week. Thanks. Bye.